Hey guys, welcome to the king. In this contract, whoever sends it an amount of ether that is larger than the current price becomes the new king. On such an event, the overthrown king gets paid the new price, making a bit of ether in the process. The goal is to break it. When you submit the instance back to the level, the level is going to reclaim kingship. You'll be the level if you can avoid such. So once you submit the level, the level will reclaim the king. We have to beat it. Okay, let's get our... While we wait for the contract to be confirmed, let's just see the project. There's a king address, there's a price, there's an owner. So this has been initialized. Hmm. Okay, so there's a function, a fallback function here. There's a king function here that returns the king. Nice. There's a fallback function here that requires the amount we input is greater than the current price or the person causing this transaction is the owner and then it transfers to the king and it changes the king and changes the price we have to use a contract to do this okay the goal is not to let the king be the contract to so stop the self-proclamation okay let's create a project here let's copy this Bad contracts, contracts, and pragma solidity zero point six point eight. Okay, this contract, this contract will be a bad king. Uh, bad king. Let's call this bad king. What we need is first to trigger this. Um, this function that will make us king. So to do that, we need the function get kingship, and it's a public function. And let's um, see what we can do. So we need the address of this contract. And if you type in instance here, you can see. Oh shit! If you type in instance here, you can see the address. I'll copy this. Go over here. Create a public variable. I'll create a constructor and this constructor should be payable and um, that's all I guess make me this public in this constructor we're setting the king we're setting the king address which is the contract we're trying to um, hack we send the king address to be this here okay and um, Need to create it here so an address king address next we need to do is just this okay so what's the problem okay i think it should not be a string okay so we have the address of the contract we're trying to hack we need to get kinship to do that we use the call method so you can do address i don't think this is necessary but still let's do it this way king dot call since we are calling the fallback method, since we are calling the fallback function to get kingship, we don't need to specify anything. What we just need is the dot value. And we'll send in this and in. Let's see. So let's see the current balance this contract have because we need to beat the price. So let's see the current price. Actually, price, not price. Okay. So, oh, let me convert this to number so I know what I'm saying. So, the price is this. So, this is one eta. This is one eta. So, if we can send one eta, which will be greater or equal to the price, then we can just be sure this is one eta. I will do this. So from way and we convert this. We we'll convert this. A lot of conversion is happening here, I'm sorry, but it's not really this is like this. 
Okay, you can see this is one eta. So what we just did there was to get a number and we converted it to a string and passed it to this, which turns it to an eta. So this is one eta. If we can send one eta, this is completed and we can become the king. We can become the king right here. Okay. So all we have to do is in this become king, we just have to call and send one eta. And um, close this like this, which means called the fallback method. It returns some values and I don't need the values. Okay, what else we need? When we submit the instance back to the level, the level is going to reclaim kingship, meaning this function is going to run again. Meaning, this is already the king, the amount to be sent to us, which means we need the fallback function. And we have a fallback function. And we have a fallback function right there. This is fallback function external and clear. So this fallback function um, takes this and we don't want this line to run. So if our fallback function should try an error, since transfer has a fixed price, a fixed gas price, we can in our fallback function um, change states of variable, which the gas will not be enough and to try an error, or we can simply try an error. One, let me just see this. Okay, so now we try an error. Once this transition reaches here, it throws an error. And as it throws an error, it reverses the state and this place can't run. So we remain the king of the contract. Let's see. Let's, let's see the king right now. Oh shit, I always forget something wrong with me. So this is the king. This is now our address. So let's try this. Over here, we now have to switch to the Robson testnet. We have to pass in eta because this function is going to send eta. This contract needs to have eta, which is why I, caught, I created this construct and made it payable. So we have to pass in eta. I'll pass in one eta here. Deploy the bad king. Okay. The transaction has been completed and we have the contract here. Let's see who's the king right now. And this is the king. And let's copy our address so we can compare it. Let's name this king. And let's do this. So now king. Oh shit. Let's name this king and let's turn this to a string right now. So king is our address, our contract address, which is this bad king over here. And we have to get kingship. Let's try getting the kingship. So this sends one eta to this contract, making the required statement to be true and giving us the kingship. Okay. Okay, the should be successful. Uh, okay, the should be successful. We can come over here and try getting the king again. This is the contract with king. So error code, and this error is an out of gas error. So we need to increase the gas and let's try getting kingship again. And we can set the gas limit here. Okay, let's give this gas limit 60,000. And let's try this. Okay, successful. Hopefully there was no error. Okay, let's see this transition. Let's say our balance, if our balance it's okay, our balance is zero, which means the transaction was successful. And if we should check the king, sorry, if we should check the king, which is this, it should be our address, A3. And we can compare it now. We can say king equal, now wait, now wait, contract. So we are comparing the king, which is we are comparing the king, which is a variable we declared here, which is the address of our contract, to the king of this contract. If they match, it means we have taken the ownership of the contract. So you can see this. You see, it's true. That means we have gotten the ownership of the contract. So we can try submitting this contract. Once we submit, the level will try to regain ownership by doing this and therefore transferring us some token, 
and once it comes over to us we reject the eta the user I sent to us and therefore throwing an error which will make this line not to go and will remain the king and complete this level so we are submitting this now and um, leave the gas price and submit yeah as you can see we completed the level so that's all for this video in the next video we'll talk about reentrancy and um, i'll see you in the next video bye